Uh, looking forward into the future, not just the near future, but out from that, how do you see this ending? Because now the rats are starting to leave the sinking ship. We're now seeing uh, you know, globalists like uh, Newt Gingrich saying, get rid of Bernanke. We're now, we're now seeing polls showing the majority of people want to get rid of the Fed. It uh, looks like this ruling class that controls the political class of whores is in trouble. Well, it, to an extent, but remember, you know, the, the game is rigged and they're running the game. I mean, to me, the only outside shot is a Ron Paul. And, you know, I was on, uh, I, I, he's one of my the people I like to be on a lot with is uh, Judge Andrew Napolitano and on Fox. And he told me one of the most successful shows he had was when he had Ron Paul and Ralph Nader on, uh, talking about a progressive libertarian party. Progressive in the terms of foods, like you mentioned, e-foods, and their clean food. And by the way, you know, I, I coined that term clean food in 1993. So yeah, I'm concerned about what I eat. You know, I'm concerned about the environment and the water. And yet I'm, and I'm with Ron Paul on the other end. I don't want my money going overseas. You know, I love this Hillary Clinton. She's a real sport with our dough. She just told Japan, we'll, we'll help them out too. They go around and give our money to everybody. We just gave Israel some more money for their missile defense system. I'm sick and tired of these people telling me where my money has to go. By the way, so they're going to make the Japanese people pay for Tokyo Electric and General Electric, even though the General Electric's own engineers quit 30-something years ago when they built those. So General Electric, Tokyo Electric, they don't have to pay nothing. The Japanese people, they're going to pay. And will pay, because she's already donated some of our money. So what I'm saying is that the only way out to answer your question to me is a, th a third party. Because this, we don't have, this isn't democracy in America. You know, they don't represent us. And you talk about the cops, you know, two weeks ago I got two tickets, one on a Saturday night and one on a Sunday. And, and yeah, this kid, you know, he was groomed to be a perfect young Nazi, you know. Oh, no, they're crawling people. all over everything, but then won't respond to real crime now. Exactly. So they have become the, the police have become the enforcers for the crime bosses. You haven't seen one head roll on Wall Street. So what I say to the police, and I know I know a number of them, do what's right morally, not what your corrupt boss who's tied into the politicians is telling you to do to bring more revenue in because taxes are going down. Do what's right morally. And to me, Alex, that's the only way out of all of these problems. Well, no amount of taxes. I mean, just a few years ago, I'd drive to work and I'd see five cops. Now I might see 20. I mean, they are feeding on us and they're pulling people over for going one mile over the speed limit now. I know. I, I'm saying, you know, I, I don't want to go out at night anymore. You know, I have one drink and I only, you know, will they be after me? You know, meanwhile, as I said, the real criminals, like try Congress, they get off with a slap. How about that guy Charlie Wrangler? Remember him? Yeah. The, yeah. Remember all the stuff that he got caught doing? How about all these people like Dashiell and and Geithner who never pay their taxes? Oh, they get caught. They say, Oh, you know, I made a mistake. You or I get caught. Boy, we're doing hard time for a long time. Yeah, so, Gerald. Again, give us your website. It's asked, we need a new third party. Give folks your website again. Trendsjournal.com, trendsjournal.com. And we just came out yesterday with the spring issue. It's one that you shouldn't miss. It's a collector's piece. All right, we'll talk to you again soon. Thank you so much. Do you have any food reserves in your home right now? How long could you provide food for your family if the food supply was cut off? A month? A week? Three days? Wouldn't you feel better if you had the necessary reserves? Have you ever noticed that the more advanced we get, the less prepared we are? Many things that defined life only a hundred years ago are so convenient today that we don't really think about what would happen if that convenience were gone. Consider how we get our food. We just go down to the grocery store and grab a few things. But what if something happened that interrupted the food supply to the store? How long would it take for the shelves to be wiped out? What would you do? How long could you and your family survive? You know, for all the other important things in our lives, we have a variety of professionals, from mechanics to doctors, to help cover our bases. 
Why don't we also have a food professional? Food is our greatest dependency. Yet most of us find ourselves unprepared for the uncertainties that lie ahead. Why take chances? Why not do something about it? You've already taken the first step. Keep moving forward with this tour and we can help you put a plan together and even show you how to get your food for free. Thank you.